morning or evening guys this is Braden from Draco Precision Japan so I'm out here for test day two of the Draco diffs uh, just to recap um, there are concerns about the amount of play in the plates uh, about 0.2 millimeters between the plates and the case so last week I did test day one uh, so check out those videos uh, but today test day two and uh, we have Draco diffs in the front center and rear uh, the front is uh, let's see I've loctited the screws I have brand new gears in there um, with just a little bit of oil okay and the rear is the same same gears um, I've also loctited those screws just in case uh, no oil whatsoever um, it's already lasted one day so that's pretty good and of course in the center I have the same center diff the old version of my case uh, still going strong okay and also have the prototype motor mount that I worked on uh, it's going well as well no problems and uh, I've got three sets of lipo packs to go through so hopefully we get some good results today so yeah check out the rest of the video to see what happens here we go okay guys so I'm five minutes into my third lipo and uh, uh, lost one of my tires so the bead has completely come out um, the wheel can be saved but the tire is, is toast anyway uh, the red front and red discs are holding up really well um, the action is still there it's a little a little stiff could be uh, because there's no oil the front is doing well as well really smooth yeah so no failure at all um, so now I will go home and uh, tear down the front and rear and uh, continue watching to find out what's what's going on all right see you soon hey guys welcome to the first video after the test uh, so I have the rear diff here um, I haven't undone it yet it's straight out of the bulkhead and uh, let's check so seems smooth this way but this way is strange there's some binding when I turn it and that strange noise as well the gears are still engaging but yeah I'm not sure what's going on so let's let's disassemble okay so the screws are out let's take the gear side off okay so there doesn't appear to be any damage let's get the light closer All right, things are looking good. All right, and then inside, there's some wear on the gears, but there doesn't seem to be any material missing. All right, well, let me disassemble and we'll look at each part once again. Okay guys, so I have changed the angle so you can see a bit better. Uh, basically, uh, the larger gear has some wear, as you can see. Maybe down the left side of the tooth here. It's a little worn away. Not each tooth though. Some teeth seem pretty even, but there is a little wear on the left side of each tooth and the gear side the ring gear side 
is the same. Same side, there's a little bit of wear. Okay, and the small ones, you can see is the shiny part. Yep, each one is the same. Yep, and as you can see, two of the plates, this was on the bottom side, closer to the cap, and this side was on the upper side, closer to the ring gear. So this one's showing more wear, not sure why. These ones aren't too bad. Um, and inside, you can see there's some contact there. But the stock case also experiences the same thing. Yeah, a little bit of wear down the bottom there from the plate moving. See that dot in the center? the plate moving yeah okay and here is the cap you can see there's some wear from the bearing moving may need to increase the tolerances just a little yeah and of course this is worn away But there's no leaking, as you can see the case seals up quite nicely. Okay, alright so that's the rear diff, I'll be doing the front diff next. Right, see you in, see you in a few minutes. So here in front of me is the front diff, I haven't disassembled it yet, so let's look at it together. Everything sounds good. It's quite free, but as you can see, there is quite a lot of play. Okay, the screws are tight. Right, so let's disassemble. Okay, so I have taken the gear off and uh, everything's moving quite nicely. And as you can see, the plates don't move so much while there's oil in there. So that's good. Right, let's check out the gears. Hmm, they look okay actually. There is definitely some contact wear. Alright, so let me disassemble the whole diff. I'll lay it out for you and let's take a look at each component. Okay, so it's all been disassembled and it looks much better than the rear. Um, so inside, hopefully you can see, right let me bring this closer, here we go, inside you can see still got a coating of oil, there is some wear from the shaft, you may be able to see that, but that's the only one, oh there's one there too. good all right this is the cap side gear let me zoom in you can see there is a little material missing there okay 
And let's look at the plates. Now I haven't cleaned these yet. But you can see it. The oil is preventing some, just a little bit of wear. Preventing wear, sorry. Here we go, just oil. They're looking good. And the gears. They do have some contact wear. But nothing significant. Shows you how much the oil helps, I think. So, yeah, I think if this was filled with oil, it would be much tighter. And these plates wouldn't move as much. But, uh, yeah, everything looks good. Alright, and the cap. As you can see, the oxide coating's gone. Um, and you can see where the plates are. There is some wear from the bearing. I might try adding some thread lock here. I've seen that before. Stop the bearing from spinning on here. But the oil has contained by this lip. It's quite a lot of wear on this O-ring too. Yeah. Yeah, so overall I think things look good. Um, I will continue. Um, and um, uh, check out the uh, so I will rebuild this as is um, I'll just clean up some of the debris on the out drives and maybe wipe these down a little bit but other than that I will put everything back back in and add a little just a little more oil to top it up and I will take it for a test three, both front and rear. All right, so that is the end of the video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.